Okay, the Pascal triangle, no need to memorize. Now I'm very targeted. We make use of the calculator to show us how to get the coefficient in that Pascal triangle. Okay, after you identify the term. Example, I use an example again. Huh? Let me use an example. Oh, this one. How to get the 35? Okay, there are two ways to write it. Remember, this is power 7. Am I right? Which term is this known as? This is the fourth term. Correct? But this fourth term is power 3. Agree? This fourth term is power 3. So, doesn't matter. Don't worry about the term. Just know, oh, this is power 3. So long as power 3 is 7, choose 3. Alright? You can see in your textbook, they will write it this way also. 7, choose 3, or known as N, choose R, power 7, choose the third one. Alright? These are a few ways of denoting it. So you either write this way, or you can write this way. Okay, the reason... Why I'm writing this way? Because the calculator will look like that. But in my working, I will write this way. Easier for me. Okay? Now, let us go back to the calculator. 7 choose 3. Where do you see 7 choose 3? Number 5. Can you see number 5? There's a N choose R. So how am I supposed to press this? Yes, you need to use sheet. Cannot. If you press choose, you forgot the first number. Alright, you must press the 7 first. 7, shift, choose. We want 3 because it's power 3, right? What's your answer? 35. 35, eh? The 30, eh, sorry. The 35 was here. Am I right? Okay, don't believe. Let's try another one. How about this one? It's still power 7, right? This one. We are still using for power 7. Choose what? 7 choose what for this particular one that I just highlight in yellow? 5. Because it's power 5 for 1. So let me press the calculator to see whether... So it's still 7. Shift. Choose. 5. I'm expecting 21. Huh? Yes. Is 21. Okay? For this reason, you don't need to memorize your Pascal's triangle. But how to put this to good, good use, I will show you in a short while. Okay, now on page 84 for practice now 3, please show me how you're going to use the calculator for 1A to 1D. Press and show me the answer in the textbook. I'll go through with you in a short while. Okay, it's just pressing the calculator. Deepak, can you give me the answer for 1A? 56. Brian? 15. We hung? 15. Evan? 1. Okay, based on this one, I want to teach you one trick. This is one trick you need to know. Huh? But now can press calculator, of course, okay. I can tell you for sure, 18, choose 18, also equal to 1. Don't believe, go and press. 15, choose 14, also equal to 15. 6, choose 2, also equal to 15. 8, choose 5. I never press up. Uh, I feel like we write down. Also equal to 56. Do you all agree with me? Press first. Eh? How come I know this? Because there is something that I apply here. Can you see there's something? I just applied something. I don't know whether you all can see or not. I apply something. Look at the number here. 
Notice these two numbers will add up to what? It will add up to the number on top, right? Do you see? 5 plus 3 will give you A. 2 plus 4 will give you 6. 1 plus 14 will give you 15. Because of this discovery, I'm going to write this down first. It's the first time you are seeing it, but it doesn't matter. So you have an N. Choose R. The end result will be N, N minus R. You will get the same. Alright, why? Very simple. These two numbers will sum up to N. Right, this is something for you to discover. But don't worry, you can press the calculator for now. But I'm showing this because eventually we will need this relationship. Alright?